Hi guys, um, my name is Rumbi. I'm a first year medical student and welcome to my YouTube channel. Hey! I thought I would just make a YouTube channel because why not? New year, try new things. I think I would enjoy it. I really enjoy watching other people's YouTube videos so, you know, why not? And I thought I, I might have some useful stuff to contribute to the internet. And that's why I'm here to be useful. Anyway, <laughs> I know the video quality won't be great, the editing won't be great, but this is my first time I'm learning and hopefully I'll get better and improve. But I also hope that the content will be useful and you guys might find it useful, the stuff that I'm gonna talk about. Anyway, so my first video is going to be just a couple of tips about med school interviews and my tips for med school interviews. So I had my interview around about this time, it was in January, it was cold, wet, windy, dark, it was it was just horrid. But like we came for four days, so we came here for four days, um, two days before the interview, the day of the interview and the day after, we left like the next day after the interview and I think that was great, like I recommend, obviously not four days like for everyone, but I recommend that you give yourself enough leeway and time it was great for me because it's quite far from where my family, like where I'm from. And so it was great to see the place, see the people, you get a, like an ambiance, a vibe of what the place is like, what the people are like. I got to go to uni and figure out my route like in detail. You don't want it to be the day of the interview and you're walking around trying to find out where you need to go, sweating, getting flustered, like there's enough stress already. You don't want that to be... You don't want to add any more stress like you already have enough stress so I would say that was great um, and I would recommend that I recommend giving yourself just leeway either side um, so that you're not rushed when it's the day of your interview anyway so my first tip is know your personal statement you probably wrote your personal statement sometime in September and your interview is like January February March April whatever and so the time between that time and the time you go for your interview is a big gap but that personal statement contributed to them calling you for interviews so you must have written something good in that personal statement um so read it like get to know yourself again get to know the, the person that you were in september or august or whenever you or october for the last minute ones out there <laughs> like get to know the person that you were at that time when you wrote the personal statement so that you know they will ask well I don't know what they will or won't do, but they that's a big asking thing. If I if I asked you for interview to come to an interview because of something great you wrote in your personal statement, I'll be like, Oh, tell me more. So rewrite it, familiarize yourself with it again so that you're conversant in it and you can answer questions about it. Like bring yourself back to that time. Bring your refresh your memory basically. My second tip is what type of interview is it? Is it an MMI or a classical interview? And every university, they will tell you what type of interview they're going to do. They won't, like, expect you to be surprised on the day you turn up and they're like, ha, MMI, ha, <laughs> classical. Like, no, they're going to tell you in advance. There'll be good materials on the website of the university with, like, maybe a practice question or just to guide you as to what type of interview it's going to be. But if you've never had any kind of interview before, then it's going to be, you know, you're even if they tell you, oh, this is what it's like, you still don't know what to expect. So the only thing you can do for that is to prepare. So if it's MMIs, then there's a multitude of questions. There's a multitude of YouTube videos, like websites that will, that have pre pre like preparatory questions. So you can, what I did was, mine, mine were MMI. Um, you, I wrote down a question. So for example, Gillick competence, I'll just put that there and then um, mind map what I think about it and all of that. Um, another example would be stuff like, oh, your friend is drinking and then he's going to placement. What do you think you should do? So I would just mind map that, like, you know, write it and then just mind map what I think about it, possibilities, just to, how it really helped me was just it widened, widened my thinking. It allowed me to think about different things, you know, think about, things differently as well so that's how I found it useful and I found it useful initially just to mind map these things so I can think about it and then as I got after you've done like 15 mind maps or 20 mind maps 
then you feel like whatever the next question is going to be, that it's all pretty similar. Then you start to see the similarities of, you know, of what they want you to do or not necessarily what they want you to do or what's the, what's the common sense? What's the thing that a normal person who, who cares about the safety of the public will do? That kind of thing. Um, so that's what I would do. That's what I would say. Um, my next tip is why medicine? Why do you want to study medicine as opposed to another degree? Why do you want to study medicine instead of art or psychology or anything else out there, particularly nursing, um, physiotherapy, midwifery, particularly compared to those other professions? Why do you want to study medicine specifically? Know that for yourself. Be sure of it. So if you really understand, take some time, sit down and really think about this. Why do I want to study medicine? Because if you know why, then it's easier to articulate to other people why. It's much, much easier to be able to just tell someone else why if you know yourself exactly why. And also, why do you want to go to that university? What's so great about that one compared to the next one? And don't just be like, ah, you guys don't look at UK cat, that's why I applied. You know, no, <laughs> stop. <laughs> Even if that is the reason you applied, no. Um, you know, think about, is it the city? What's the teaching program like? Is it MMR? Um, is it problem-based learning? Is it like phases? What do they do? What's so great about that university? Early patient contact, what is it? What made you think, okay, I really want to spend a big chunk of my life in this place. Like five years is a long time. Five or four years, whatever you're doing. It's a long time. Anyway, my next tip is to relate your volunteering, your work experiences, your general life experiences into things that might be useful for a doctor. So what has your volunteering taught you about teamwork, communication, leadership? Um, what has your work experience taught you about this? What has just general life activities taught you about this? A useful thing, I think, would be to read um, the GMC's document, Good Medical tomorrow's doctors and good medical practice but i would focus more on tomorrow's doctors for applying because if something tells you what they want in tomorrow's doctors then that university wants to recruit people that will meet that tomorrow's doctors need so then you can think about oh okay at the interview what can i show at the interview that will show that i can be you know i can be one of tomorrow's doctors you know i I have experience of good teamwork, I have experience of good communication, of leadership, of showing determination, those kinds of things. Like, for example, think of a question like, when have you ever made it a mistake? And what did you do? How did you react to making this mistake? What were your actions following the mistake? Did you, did you correct it? Were you able to correct it? Um, if you weren't able to correct it, what did you do? Did you confess? Did you like hide it where you like oh no no one's gonna did you do a steve harvey and come back and be like this was my fault y'all miss columbia i'm sorry like what what did you do when you made your mistake that that's a good question to think about then you can think about how you can relate that to your life experiences or experiences you've had in your life um my next tip is practice 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 like and i think that's the most important tip overall practice so if you think about it Novak Djokovic didn't get great at tennis by not practicing he practices every day um Lewis Hamilton didn't become world champion by not practicing so you need to practice when you practice stuff it becomes second nature so what I would say is like I said the internet has so many questions you use the internet it's a it's a resource I used YouTube as a resource, I used the internet as a resource. This is like research. Watching a video like this is like research. You're like, okay, that's that person's tips. And then you see the next person, you see that, oh, those are that person's tips. And those are that person's tips. And you put it together and you have your own bank. And then you can practice. Practice questions, practice answering questions with someone. I would say like with a sibling, a parent or whatever, a friend. You need to do it with someone that's going to be honest with you. You need to... You can't have someone that's going to be like, oh, you say it, and then they're like, oh, that was great, when really it wasn't. You need someone that's that's going to be like, okay, you could have done this better, you could have, you know, you stumbled here, that kind of thing. If you don't want to do it with people, then you can record yourself. You can do it with your phone, 
record yourself and be like, okay, so I stumbled here, I stumbled there, um, maybe I need to just look back into this or look back into that, that kind of thing. So practice makes perfect. And something like uh, an interview or something like an MMI, there's so much pressure. And especially with getting into university, any course, let alone medicine, there's this pressure and you're like, oh my God, I have to, I have to do well. That pressure, it can, it can affect some people. So for you to be as prepared as you can be, to lessen that pressure, because they will 100% you're going to turn up, you're not going to be like, I got this, you know, no one's going to be like that. You're going to turn up, there will be nerves, but you need to put yourself, put your best foot forward. And I think the way to put your best foot forward is to have practice, to have put in a lot of work practicing. And I think that's definitely, definitely a key. And remember, remember that they asked you to come to interview. They want you. So... Think about all the things that you can bring to the table. That's a, So the things that I, I would recommend that you sit down and think about, why you want to study medicine, sit down and really think about that. And then think about why medicine needs you, you know? There's a million intelligent people in the world. There's a million and one A-star students or whatever. Um, so what, what does medicine need about you? And 100% there will be stuff. You will be able to make a list, 100%. You know, there's stuff, no, medicine can't have, all the doctors can't be exactly the same, like, nowhere in life can everything be exactly the same. You need diversity, you need, you know, maybe you're great at art, or you're great at music, or different things that you can bring in to say, and you can just relate it to medicine somehow, you will be able to do it, 100%. So yeah, those are my tips, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, like I said, the editing won't be great, the video quality won't be great, but I'm trying and I hope it's useful to some of you and good luck. Good luck with your interviews and I know you'll be fine. I'm certain I don't know who you are, but I know you will be fine. <laughs>